Pinto. Esta es la casa del pueblo y la casa de ustedes. Y ustedes siempre son bienvenidos en esta, su casa. Now, I want you to know that I've had this celebration circled on my calendar for a while because I've been missing Puerto Rico. Yes, I have. I've been missing Puerto Rico. The island has occupied a special place in my heart and mi corazón for more than two decades because it was the first place that Bill and I traveled to as a couple back when we were young lovebirds. Now that was almost 25 years ago. And as we grew into older lovebirds, Bill and I would go back regularly to Puerto Rico for work, but also for the warmth and beauty of the countryside, the amazing people, the coqui, and, and of course that fantastic restaurant at El Comento. Now our most recent visit was last year, and I know we're both eager to get back as soon as we can. Right, honey? Nice <laughs> <laughs> but the great thing about living in New York City is that you don't have to be in San Juan to show your love and your support for Puerto Rico. You can enjoy some delicious mofongo at El Viejo Yayo in Park Slope or many, many other restaurants. Yeah, Viejo Yayo. You can show your support by cheering on, cheering on the Puerto Rican parade this weekend. <laughs> and, this is important, you can let our leaders in Washington know that it's long past time for them to do right by our Puerto Rican brothers and sisters, right? Now, I know, I know you all are doing everything you can to amplify the voices of the three and a half Americans, three and a half million Americans, <laughs> a little bit more than three and a half, right? Three and a half million Americans who call Puerto Rico home. And I am confident that our hard work will pay off and that the people of Puerto Rico will come back even stronger from the challenges they are facing, just like they always do. Como siempre. Today, we celebrate that resilient spirit and look forward to a weekend of fellowship and joy. Hoy, celebramos la tenacidad de Puerto Rico y esperamos con ansias este próximo fin de semana de alegría y solidaridad, solidaridad entre amigos. Thank you, thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce my partner, and my, my favorite traveling companion, our mayor, Bill de Blasio. Kiss me, you fool. Muchas gracias, mi amor. You know, she talked about that trip we took together as young lovebirds, and I'm sort of I'm lost in the memories right now. <laughs> Bienvenidos a todos, hermanos y hermanas. Welcome to our house. This is one of the most beautiful celebrations each year at Gracie Mansion. Because this is about the heart of New York City. Whether you are a Puerto Rican or a New York Rican, we love you. <laughs> and it is a moment to celebrate, and it's a moment to stand shoulder to shoulder with Puerto Rico. We need to do both right now. 
Now, I want to tell you, everyone wanted to be at this. And I want to tell you some of the wonderful guests we have here tonight. So let me just call the roll. You can clap for them all at once. Deputy Mayor Richard Bury. <laughs> Deputy Mayor Erminia Palacio. <laughs> DCAS Commissioner Lizette Camillo. <laughs> ACS Commissioner Gladys Carrion. <laughs> CAU Commissioner Marco Carrion. <laughs> Oath Commissioner Fidel Del Valle. <laughs> DDC Commissioner Fenyoski Peña Mora. The First Lady's Chief of Staff, Roxanne John. <laughs> Director of Appointments, Rachel Lauder. Director of Federal Affairs, Andrea Zuniga. Our Director of Scheduling, Prisca Salazar Rodriguez. <laughs> the Bronx is proud tonight. <laughs> Director of the Mayor's Office of Pensions and Investments, John Adler. Director of Special Events, Carla Matero, and the Chief Actuary, Sherry Chan. We thank them all. And elected officials from the City Council, Andy King, Jimmy Van Bramer, and Andy Cohen. And from the New York State Assembly, Felix Ortiz. Now, as the Primera Dama said to you, the connection we have to Puerto Rico, there's no comparison. 700,000 New Yorkers of Puerto Rican descent, more Puerto Ricans in New York City than there are people in the city of Boston. And we are proud of this community. And we will be proud Sunday, the 59th Puerto Rico Day Parade. We will be proud. But as I said, celebration and music and joy count for a lot, but solidarity is needed too. Because we're seeing with our own eyes a double standard when it comes to Puerto Rico. Let's be very plain about it. Three and a half million, New, uh, three and a half million Americans, three and a half million Americans in need. Federal government standing by and watching. Healthcare compromised government compromise. You know what we say? The people of Puerto Rico need to be treated with the same dignity, decency, humanity as people who live anywhere in the United States of America. And that means we don't accept any plan that doesn't protect the health care of the people of Puerto Rico that doesn't protect the finances of Puerto Rico, that doesn't protect the rights of workers in Puerto Rico. We do not want a group of hedge fund billionaires dictating to Puerto Rico its future. And here's another thing. Whatever way that Washington wants to treat Puerto Rico, then it should treat California or New York or Michigan or Texas the same exact way. So if you're going to take away the sovereignty of all those places, well, then you can do it in Puerto Rico. Otherwise, don't even think about it. Now, we have a lot to celebrate. We have so many Puerto Ricans who make a huge impact in this city. In a moment, I'm going to have the pleasure of bringing up a speaker who is a speaker and who does so much. But before that, two very special guests. They are part of what you could argue right now is the most famous, the most beloved family in New York City at this moment, and for very good reason. Now, these two wonderful women are not the better known members of the family, but that does not make them anything less than the beating heart of the Miranda family. And the Miranda family means so much to New York City and to our entire nation. We have seen from this family such an impact on this city and on our culture and on our public life. Now, Luis Miranda Jr. is not here tonight. He had to be out of town. But he has served three mayors. He helped to create the Hispanic Federation. He's one of the true voices of conscience in the Latino community in this city. And you've probably heard of the son of this family, Lin-Manuel Miranda. 
Yes, he's gotten Tonys and Grammys and Obies and a Pulitzer and a MacArthur Genius Award. And we love him for it because he's a true New Yorker, educated in our public schools, taught in our public schools. But there wouldn't be the greatness of Luis or Lin-Manuel if not for Dr. Luz Towns Miranda. Not only is she the wife of Luis and the mother of Lin-Manuel, who taught Lin-Manuel everything he knows, she's a psychologist who works with the Coalition of Hispanic Families and the New York State Psychology Board to help the most vulnerable among us. And their daughter, Luz Miranda Crespo, is the CFO of her father's company, the Moram Group, which plays such an important role in the public life of this city. So would you welcome, please, Dr. Luz Towns Miranda and Luz Miranda Crespo to the stage. Wait, you, you were too fast there. We're going to give you height. But first, first I want to say we have a proclamation. OK, you know it's important when there's a proclamation involved. OK, this proclamation, I'm going to summarize it for you. It obviously notes the fact that if you want to see Hamilton, you've got till July 9th while Lin-Manuel is in the cast. But even after that, all four Mirandas will be making a huge impact on New York City. And we are so grateful. And let me say before I present it in Espanol, esta noche celebramos el gran patrimonio cultural de la familia Miranda y todos los puertorriqueños. Sus contribuciones Enriquecen cada día nuestro país y nuestra ciudad. Por eso, como neoyorquinos y americanos, debemos defender a Puerto Rico a este momento de necesidad. And with that, I declare today, June 7, 2016, in the city of New York, Miranda Family Day. You are now about to be taller. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Luz Miranda. Okay. Buenas noches. I want to begin by thanking Mayor de Blasio for opening his home to the Puerto Rican community this week of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. We, like so many of you, are a proud Puerto Rican family who are proud of who we are and are proud of having given a great deal and received a great deal from New York, like so many immigrants in New York City. My son, Lin Manuel, has been changing Broadway. Yes. My For the better. For the better, as the Mayor de Blasio says, which is true. My husband, since he arrived here, has been contributing to nonprofits to make this a stronger city for all Latinos and, and everyone in general. My daughter makes the uh, infrastructure of my husband and my son's lives possible so they don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day details of finances. Uh, I have spent the better part of 30 years working in underserved neighborhoods, primarily Latino neighborhoods, with mental health issues, foster care issues, and family court custody issues. Um, yeah. 
and we will continue, my family, to, to give because in giving we receive so much. So as my son would say, have a wonderful time at the parade and WAPA! Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, one more speaker this evening, and she has earned that title. Melissa Marfiverito, over the last two and a half years, has done remarkable things for New York City. And we all owe her a debt of gratitude. What she has done as Speaker of the City Council, and I've been so proud to be her partner in the work of this city, that would be enough. But she increasingly is a national voice of conscience as well on the issue of Puerto Rico and on the issue of the rights and the needs of the Latino community all over this country. I present to you Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito. Buenas tardes, familia. ¿Cómo se sienten? Again, to the mayor, I want to thank him for his partnership in making this event a reality uh, every year under his tenure here in Gracie Mansion, uh, something that had not happened before in partnership with the city council. So I'm very proud uh, to co-host this event. I want to thank my colleagues that are here from the city council. I'm very happy that they could be here to support me, but to support our community. And I'm not going to say much because we want to enjoy the rest of the evening, pero quiero decir algunas cosas de importancia Eh, que estamos aquí para celebrar y divertirnos. Pero es importante también reconocer algunos de los retos y las contribuciones de nuestra comunidad y también eh, dándole las gracias al desfile puertorriqueño por todo el esfuerzo que están haciendo. I really want to thank the Puerto Rican Day Parade under the leadership of Lorraine Cortez Vázquez, all the board members that are here. for working uh, with us to bring this parade back to the community. And um, as those of you that are going to be participating on Sunday uh, may be well aware, the parade this year uh, is dedicated to many issues, right? We're using this platform. This parade this year is receiving such widespread media attention. And there's going to be many communities across the nation that are going to be seeing this parade. So the pl platform that we have available to us right now to amplify the voice of our community and of our people is unprecedented. So I want to thank the parade for utilizing this platform as a way of educating the greater community um, on the crisis in Puerto Rico, the fiscal crisis in Puerto Rico, that we need to unite and raise our voices understanding the challenges we have in Congress. We have a reactionary Republican Party that is dictating, unfortunately, the rules at the moment, the, pro the pro uh, proposal that is being presented um, in the PROMESA legislation uh, is one that I, unfortunately, cannot support uh, because of the fiscal control board that it presents uh, to our people. But also utilizing it as a way of celebrating and recognizing the accomplishments of the LGBT community in Puerto Rico. Que todavía hay muchos retos y no ha sido fácil la lucha. There are some people from the LGBT community here that are being recognized and honored at the parade. And I do want to recognize uh, Pedro Julio Serrano, who is working with me right now, but he is also being celebrated. And finally, that also the plat parade is being utilized as a platform to continue to say que 35 años is enough. Oscar Lopez Rivera needs to be released. That is an issue that we need to get accomplished under this administration. President Obama needs to release Oscar Lopez Rivera, and we ask all of you to help join in that effort. So, se conoce que aquí en Nueva York somos el municipio número 79 de Puerto Rico, right? We are the 79th municipality of the island of Puerto Rico based on the population that we have of Puerto Ricans. 
Um, and so that is really uh, wonderful to celebrate all of those accomplishments. I'm always proud to march in the parade. It is a beautiful, beautiful display now that it has been returned back to us of really our culture and our accomplishments. And again, I want to thank the parade for that. And the last thing, one, there are many people here that are being recognized by the parade, but hay una muchachita joven that I would like to ask her to raise her hand. Eh, Danitza Vasquez is here with her mother. Danitza is from Puerto Rico. Um, and one of the things, how old is Danitza? Oh, there she is. Danitza, ¿cuántos años tú tienes? She's 16, but she's a global chess champion. Um, so it's pretty unbelievable. And uh, also she's being, uh, she's in, uh, recognized for STEM, right? The STEM contributions. So she's once in the science and math. We need more Latinos, Puerto Ricans in science and math. So this is an area that she's delving into. So congratulations and for being here today. Um, and that's it. Espero que todo el mundo siga celebrando. Los vemos en la Quinta Avenida. Felicidades a la familia Miranda por su reconocimiento hoy y todo lo que han hecho por nuestra bella ciudad. Y marchamos por Oscar, marchamos por nuestros hermanos y hermanas LGBT, marchamos por nuestra bella isla Puerto Rico. Palante, siempre palante. Thank you.